What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another diecast model review. Today we're looking at the D'Augustini 1 in 144 scale. We have two uh, jet fighters here. The Su-30 uh, flanker. This is the uh, two-seater variant. And then one of my favorite aircraft, the Su-25 Frogfoot. Um, these are both by D'Augustini and they again are in the 1 in 144 scale. They are diecast with a few uh, plastic parts. Um, I had to buy these from Russia. Uh, I do have a lot of the D. Augustini uh, Soviet jets. Usually in the USA, you can only find like the Su-27 Flanker or the MiG-29. So I really wanted to get these two. Um, so I found a seller in Russia that had these. So let's take a look. I'm going to start with the uh, Su-30. And again, a very nice looking uh, die cast model. D. Augustini always does a great job with their 1 and 144 scale stuff. So we have this nice uh, camo look. The uh, Soviet stars there. You can see that this is a two-seater variant, and they even included the uh, if you can show up here a little glass knob for the uh, infrared uh, search and track uh, sensor on the nose. So that's very cool. The other side, you have a small indentation for the uh, 30 millimeter gun. You have a little squadron number there. Um, the underside, we have. A variety of different missiles. I forget what the uh, Soviet version of the um, uh, short range missile is. I think it's like the R 32 or R 38, something like that. So you have the wingtip missiles, a bigger missile, a really big, looks like a long range type missile, and then two on the belly here. Um, the engines are nicely painted too with that silver paint. And they have some nice, <clears throat> excuse me, some nice detail uh, for the engine nozzles. So very cool looking jet. Glad I have this in my collection. Um, the 1 in 144 scale is one of my favorite uh, scales to get. Now going to the Frogfoot. This is one of my uh, favorite aircraft uh, in general, not just for the Soviets. I actually prefer this over the uh, A-10 from the USA. I just like the design of it. I like that it's smaller and faster. Um, and again, the Augustini did a great job with the camo paint here. You have the Soviet stars. Uh, the cockpit is nicely done. You have the big uh, probes on the nose. The underside, we have a pretty good armament. Let's flip it over here. So you have the air-to-air -air missiles. You have the, uh, my camera will focus here, the uh, rocket pods. Um, sorry, my camera, there we go. So the rocket pods you have there, you have the bigger bombs and the fuel tanks. And then they even included um, a little, it's not really that well detailed, but a little indent where the 30 millimeter cannon would be. Um, again, the armament matches on this side. So you have the rocket pods, the air-to-air -air missile, a bigger bomb, uh, and then the fuel tanks. Um, the engines are nicely done too. You have the intakes up front. And then on the bottom you have, I wish those were a little bit better detailed. The actual thrust nozzles. Um, so overall, the Augustini does great jobs. They mainly do uh, Soviet uh, jet fighters in the 144 scale. I don't think I've ever seen any other uh, jets from like USA, but definitely if you're a fan of Soviet aircraft, um, these are definitely worth picking up. Again, they're pretty hard to find if you want like the Su-30 here or the Su-25. Um, usually when I look at uh, USA sellers, I just see the Su-27 or the MiG-29, uh, but definitely worth getting. These are easy 5 out of 5 for me. So hope everyone liked the video. It's kind of a short one. Um, my next review will be the Hobby Master. They released a Su-25, um, so I'm very excited to get that and review that. So hope everyone liked the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.